It's Renee Rabbit here. Just going to do a quick demonstration using Chief Architect and some of my templates and quick tools just to show how efficient you can be using this software. If you're thinking about converting from an AutoCAD or a Revit, I really don't think you could do better than using Chief Architect. So I've got a PNG image file here. It's just a hand-drawn sketch and I'm going to scale it to my drawing real quick. And then I'm also going to get rid of some of my existing walls that I have here just so I can start from new and I'll start drawing in some new walls. So I'll draw this clockwise. I can do a continuous draw mode if I right click and then just kind of trace over what I've got here. I'm not too worried about where this exterior lands because this is just a partial plan. And then let me switch to my interior wall tool. Same thing, just gonna kind of trace what's here and we'll get the semblance of a kitchen pretty quickly. From here, I'll work on the fenestration. We can bring up our window tool, click at center on this item right here, and I can concentrically resize this to be a two foot window. And then it looks like I've got a four foot window here. And I'm pretty sure it's centered on the room, so we can take this two foot window reflected about the center of the room, and there we have it. Now it looks like this was, well, it actually might be a door or a doorway, I'm not sure. This looks like it's a doorway. So let's place all of our doorways real quick. And of course can resize this con concentrically as well as this one. It's like we've got an exterior slider with a couple of fixed side lights. So I can grab this guy, copy it, reflect about the center, and then I draw out some invisible walls to kind of make this exterior patio make sense there. And drop in a couple of stairs and center this up. And populate it out to the edges there. From here, let's drop a couple of cabinets in here for the island. I'm gonna orient them in the correct direction. And then I can do a multiple copy, set my interval at, at 24 inches and drag that out. And then shift select these copy, reflect about themselves. There we go. But also just do this in 3D. It's easy enough to do in 3D. It looks like it's got an extra wide sink here. leave some room for a filler. Let's go ahead and pull a 3D view just so we can see what we've got going on so far. It's easy enough to design in 3D as you would in 2D top-down plan view. You can see I'm placing those cabinets. Let's use a couple of my quick tools to quickly change a few things in here. Let's also get in some wall cabinets. And of course, adjust this window up. Full height unit there. Drop in a backsplash. You can change this to a garbage pullout. Populate a, well, let's put a faucet in here real quick. And center it up and then drop in a sink. Got a symbol for both a range and a hood. So now I can take this item, copy it, reflect about center. Shows me that preview of where that's gonna end up. And I might put in another cabinet right next to it. Let's kind of flip the orientation of this cabinet and then duplicate it about center. And same thing, drop in a backsplash. 
and we could take these two backsplashes and union them together. Look at that, quick and easy. I dropped some shelves in there. Just gave me a warning that's easy enough to fix. Let's do something with this island real quick. We can kind of do an offset cabinet there. Drop in some stools. Oops. Go back a level. Stool kind of moved that whole assembly there, didn't it? Let's do our multiple copy. Copy interval. And we'll set this to maybe two stools. On this other side, we had a refrigerator, full hutch there. I'm gonna unblock this. This is called an architectural block. I'm gonna drop in an oven unit as well. And then maybe we've got another couple lower units and an upper unit. Populate a couple of lights from overhead. Let's do a three and two. So we're gonna span this out. Three dupes, two this way. And then we can actually select all these, center them up on the room. And there we go. Now let's turn on just a PBR, see what this is looking like so far. There's a ray trace view, not too bad out of the box without spending any effort on it. And I can go to my library and pick out one of my different style palette tools. Paint in the room. Quickly change the style of the entire place there. We only got one little fix here to do. Turn back that PVR view, take a look. Very cool, let's switch back to a plan view. I'm gonna get rid of this PNG file and we're gonna to switch to one of my print sets. Also switch to an electrical set on the fly. Let's see what these various sets have. Framing floor plan, foundation plan, etc. From here we could do manual dimension, run some dimension lines through. Of course, if you needed to, you can dimension to these cabinets. I like to do my uh, cabinet dimensioning in an elevation view. Let's just pop up an elevation view. Could of course have a color elevation view or quickly switch off that color elevation view. And same thing, drop our dimensions through. This is for a larger print set. So I'm using kind of a larger font there. Get an end to end. And I even have some cool little tools to kind of block out cabinets like this so that we don't see that section cut, right? So there we go. Very fast demonstration of how you can get some quick conceptual ideas for a kitchen. Lightning fast in Chief Architect. Anyways, go have fun. <laughs>